thank you so much for tuning in to watch our Glorious Taverns one shot. Thanks to our incredible sponsors, Critit UK. Now, you have the opportunity to win a signed copy of Glorious Taverns, which I don't know why you wouldn't. It's full of new NPCs, brand new monsters, over 30 different taverns, and the sensational drinking game rules, which you will experience if you continue watching. Now, to win this book, you must do two things. You must one, subscribe to our YouTube channel, please and thank you. Two, you must answer this question. The question is, what are the effects that occur to Snickersby when they get drunk? Not tipsy, drunk. What are the effects of being drunk that Snickersby experiences? To answer, you must leave a comment in the YouTube comments section and we will do a random selection of those comments that are correct, obviously. The deadline is the 5th of June and we will be closing applications, I know, and then the winner will be announced on YouTube and all of our socials on the 12th of June, Friday the 12th of June. So all that's left to do now is, you know, finish watching the video, find out the answer, comment it below, and as you go out into your life, roll the damn dice. Welcome to Roll the Damn Dice. Hey. I'm not Connor. <gasps> what? <laughs> I'm not Stephen. <laughs> Look how ginger he is. No, we I've not forever. been invited here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's a bit different to normal. Um, we're not. Um, it's not. We're not with the From the Ashes crew. Oh. We've left them in their current jeopardy, which I now have no idea what it is. Let's not worry about it. <laughs> Um, because we're doing a little special one shot because Connor's away and um, as you know we're sponsored by Critit. Critit UK. Ooh. You can get a discount on all their stuff, lovely boards like this, lovely um, dice trays, lovely dice, big dice. Yeah. Um, and you can get a little discount if you put in a, the offer code RTDD10. How many D's do we have to do? <laughs> RTDD10. Um, but what were they? They're just on the brink of bringing out what I think is going to be broadly recognised as one of the best D&D &D resource books pretty much ever, certainly in the last few years, uh, Glorious Taverns. Um, and it's uh, uh, we've had sneak previews, and it's amazing. There's about 30, 40 taverns. They've all got different NPCs with stat blocks. They've all got a little adventurous association associated to them. There's also uh, a load of NPC bards. There's loads of magical items. There's lots of pub games and there's lots and there's some drinking rules so we're going to use the drinking rules tonight which will be psychic so we're going to be visiting one of the taverns from the book uh, with some completely new characters Yay! Um, yeah. and so we're going to be going to the thirsty minx hence the title sorry if you're Thanks expecting me to be a lady in a, <laughs> in a hot tub <laughs> soz um, we got you here stay stay you don't want to carry on with enough Trophy donations, we can make. Yeah. <laughs> As his wife, I can confirm he is a thirsty man. <laughs> so we're going to go around and you can introduce yourself because there's some faces that some of you have never seen. Mm. And tell us about your character and you can give a practice on your voice. Yeah. I'm I'm Matt. I'm usually sat up there um, doing the sound effects, so I hope you will like those. Um, <laughs> and uh, I am going to be playing Mac Tala who is a uh, gnome, uh, but he's a little bit larger than most gnomes, so he's kind of left the gnomish society to go and join the dwarves. <clears throat> and he is an Echo Knight fighter, and he likes uh, hitting things with his war pick. So pretty good. Um, and then Luke, um, this time playing... Here we go. So is Maldracon the Almighty, the Dragonborn Bard... Stroke God. I'm just <laughs> merely waiting for my ascension and I can then bestow my gift upon all you mortals. A haughty, arrogant dragonborn? Never seen I've never done a, my inspiration works. I think it might be more of an obnoxious one. Yeah. <laughs> it might be it's more it's more possible. Hi guys, 
My name is Tony, and I'm also normally upstairs, but I'm normally chatting to you on the Twitch chat, but I can't do that now. I've been replaced by somebody. I don't think you'll know him. His name's Stephen. Yeah. Stephen St. Torres. I, no. We left him with four cans of beer, so it's going to get... <laughs> <laughs> the chat's going to get spicy. It's yeah, yeah, spicy enough without that. Yeah. Um, and... I'm playing Zaharia, the um, satyr wizard, and she's just really excited to be here. Um, she loves adventuring, despite the fact she's not really done adventuring, but she's heard a lot about it, and it sounds really cool, so like that's going to be really fun, and she's definitely not going to get in on anybody's nerves at all. <laughs> <laughs> she's already on max nerves. <laughs> Uh, hi, I'm Joy Amy, and I am playing uh, Snickersby Pitch Snook. Um, who is a hill dwarf um, and she is also a cleric um, who's a little bit healy but also mostly murdery. Um, she uh, kind of adopted Lovely Mac, um, who she calls Chubby Fingers um, <laughs> because he's got very chubby fingers. And um, what was that accent? That was weird. Well, you went <laughs> she was it was a tour of the north of England. Deep okay. Spreading so, into Scotland. Then you went over the to Northern Ireland, which is a rather down right. by special yeah. travelling accent. I mean, I think the idea originally Derry. was to be like Bristol, and that was the plan. But now I'm sat between like a Scottish person and a sort of Scottish person. <laughs> <laughs> That's and then I do you where are my voices actually going with it? Um, but yeah, she's a life cleric and she worships uh, Lanathar. The Sun God. Hello, I'm Moa, and I am playing <laughs> Quinn Ogden. Uh, she is a high elf uh, barbarian. Uh, we don't get too angry, but when we do, it's terrible. But it's not ladylike to uh, to show one's feelings of rage. Um, but I was, I did befriend old Snicker Snickersby. It's not called Snickerdoodle. Oh. <laughs> Uh, Snickerdoo is Snickerdoodle. <laughs> it's done. That's, what is that's canon. canon. It's like canon. A, it's a, canon. It's an American. It's a snack in America. But what is it? Or something. I don't know. It's like a Twinkie. I think there's peanut butter in it. Okay. okay. I think it's a biscuit. I mean, it's a biscuit. Anyway, um, <laughs> Snickersby came across me whilst I was having a cigarette outside of a uh, side of a gala and I was accosting someone with a stiletto. Um, I am always in stilettos. Um, and yes. Don't know what, um, what else. Yes, oh, she's uh, Path of Wild Magic, so that's fun. <laughs> never done that before. <laughs> never played an elf, never played a barbarian. Never done this. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Look what happens when Connor's not here. I know. Disaster. <laughs> um, I, don't, I feel like there's probably so, like official social media type of things. Follow us. We're Follow yeah, us. Right, yeah. Rate us. Um, subscribe. Like us. Please like oh, us. We really need the validation. Comment, yeah, comments, leave sentence. comments. There have been some brilliant oh, comments no. but, this week. <laughs> but you can, the first time you can buy the new Glorious Taverns book is at uh, the London Comic Con, which is running from... 27th to 29th of May. Um, and you can go to the Critics Stand and you can buy it there. That'll be the first time it comes out. Um, but we'll be there as well on Sunday. <gasps> mm -hmm. So if you've already got your tickets, come and see us. Go and see Critic, say that we sent you, um, and uh, I don't know if the offer code will stand. We'll try and make it stand. Tell them. Just shout, <laughs> shout <laughs> it. Yeah. 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 Them. Oh, 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 it. Um, I have a genuine concern that I might go into labour during the panel. Yeah, so don't <laughs> come for that. It's really nothing close else. to the due date, guys. <laughs> <laughs> there will be some articles about us if that happens. So yeah. 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 Push it. We'll have to give our baby a, a, baby a really, like, Connie oh, yeah. like, name. Look, if I like, okay, I'm promising you. If we're going to labour during Comic Con, uh, we will name her after. We'll let we'll let no, you we won't decide. Won't. No, 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 no. Right, no, from no, a pre preselected list. <laughs> She'll be carousing and more. That's what we got to choose from. Baby with the baby face. <laughs> <laughs> right. Anyway, enough enough fun. We've got to play Dungeons and Dragons. Let's get serious. Yeah. So. Oh. <clears throat> serious faces so our adventuring party there was a little bong there yeah <laughs> just enjoyed oh, that. Is that my laptop it's, probably oh, say, it's either your laptop or the sound effects one <laughs> exciting it's the, they're bonging to start it. anyway yeah <laughs> round one so uh, at, this is our adventuring party um, you've been adventuring together for a bit for a while 
Mm-hmm. But we're time, and uh, you uh, have been sent by a giant chieftain called Og to go and rescue his daughter, the Princess Bog. Um, but en route, you've been sailing across the Thousand Islands, um, and en route, you were waylaid by pirates. They took your ship, but they did maroon you. They didn't murder you, they marooned you, they left you on a beach, and you are now on a, a large island, but it's sort of a swampy, hot, sticky um, island, and it's it's midsummer, so it's the it's the day before the summer solstice, and uh, you you marooned, you couldn't find anyone, and then some little fish folk, Kuatoa, um, you bumped into them, and they were actually quite friendly, um, and they explained that if you marched for a day south through the swamps, there's a sort of path. Um, that you could find a small uh, bar called the Thirsty Minx, and from there you could pick up a boat to the port on the south of the island and uh, carry on your way to rescue the Princess Bog. You've walked down this path. It's It's been gross, just sticky, hot, smelly, biting insects the whole way. You're covered in tiny bites. Um, and the part, uh, this place of the path just disappears and you've had to wade through uh, gross, uh, stagnant water and over sort of broken bridges. But you've been marching for most of the day. And uh, yeah, it's coming towards the end of the day. So do you wanna let's give, you, give us a flavor of your conversation you're having while mm. you're walking? Mm. This really won't do. I can't. I can't be muddy much longer. This is uh, quite unbearable. Um, I mean, you, I, I could. I could like, lend you my boots if you want it. No, that'll be a firm no. I. I it's. It's heels or nothing. I'm afraid. Are you sure? Because like, I, I mean, I don't mind. I'm. You know, my feet. They're. They're quite thick on the bottoms. You know. Yes, but darling, I, I'm. I'm, there, there's going to be a shoe size issue. I am significantly taller than you. She is about six foot two and has like size 10 feet. Um. <laughs> Not modeled on you at all. No, you take this from real life experience at all. <laughs> oh, right, okay, so um, the other choice is you could just shut up about it and- I was merely vo- vocalizing m- my displeasure. Just be glad you're that tall. You don't have to smell what it smells like down here. That's true. I'm glad I'm not normal, no mite. Oh. <laughs> to be honest, I really like your shoes. I think they're really nice. I'm actually quite jealous because you know I'm I'm a I'm a skater, so I, I can't even wear shoes because like uh, I have hoops instead. Um, so I can't really wear shoes. So I'm a bit jealous of everybody who can wear shoes. Actually, um, uh, I had a friend once who tried to make like shoes for for people like me, like hoof folks, like myself, skater. Don't you central. have those? They're sort of curved and they. Get hammered that into the might... bottom. No, I don't really like those. It's a bit stereotypical, actually. It's it's it's. Um, um, sorry. It's a bit of a sore spot. But no, no, it's, um, it's okay. But like like proper shoes, like got like shoes. wedges and stuff. Um, I can't even remember her name. Oh my god, it's something like Louise uh, Vaughn, like Uton or something. And she was gonna <laughs> she was gonna put on the shoes. Um, oh, uh, that was it. Yeah, she's like, oh, oh, what should I name the shoes? And I was like, I don't know. It's not my brand. You can keep up with that. Well, I'm walking on ahead. <laughs> I would call them Utahns, and I was like, "That sounds so cheap. I wouldn't go there." I've got, I've got like an image in my head that they should like, like, like be red on the bottom. No, that sounds shit. <laughs> <laughs> I could catch up to to my. I have the ability to silence the lot. Please, that please do. I mean, or at least that that one without the shoes. So here, yeah. Perhaps, That's although to be. <sighs> As powerful as I, I can just tune them out. Anyway, it's something that I just can do. You like going on yourself, don't you? Well, you see, I I do believe that when I am a god, fully a god, <laughs> oh, going on about this god oh, shit again. Yeah. I need to make sure that my name is known. To have uh, clerics and paladins devote themselves to me will be quite fantastic. Uh, can we do I'm glad, I'm I'm glad I don't have to devote myself not to not devoted, anyone. I'm not devoted to you. I am just in your adventuring party, okay? Yes, we are but you are the first. Travelling together, doing good deeds, trying to make our mark on this world. We are not going to serve you in some godlike capacity. Uh, You're not even going to manage to persuade any warlocks to sell anything to you. Uh, it, it, it is not needed just to be the first followers of Maldricon, the gifts I shall bestow. 
We're only following him to make sure he doesn't bloody end up, wind up falling off some kind of I'm ledger. So I'm making sure I walk him. ahead of him rather Wait, than follow him. What kind of gifts are you talking about? Because I quite like gifts. I like gifts. Anything you need, I can bestow upon you. Endless riches, <laughs> power beyond the... Like, you could have your own college of wizards. How about You'd your absence? <laughs> what about... If I will be, I will be gone. I will be amongst the heavens and then the Then let's do everything we can to make it happen, Clitter. Excellent. Can I get any cool? Because my one, this one's getting a bit dirty, so I think it's just a new coat. Cool. That'll do me. Yes. Oh, as long as it does not surpass my own. Of well, course. no, because yours is really nice. But I, just, I like, a, I want a nice one, but it doesn't have to be like that nice. It can be like, you know, just a little bit nice. Can you all roll me a perception check, please? Oh, please, thank oh, God. She says that she forgets how to use them. I have. 16. Also 16. 17. 8. <laughs> Not one. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So everyone apart from Luke and Dreb, you start to hear, you can hear just the sound of music from the path ahead, just quietly, and maybe the sound of people chatting. Oh, thank God. Oh, that sounds like it might drown these two out. Oh, come on, come on. I think I think we're nearly there. Um, onwards, um, yes, Mac. Maldricon, you No, yeah, no, I'm... I'll assume you're talking to me. No, Mac, I think it's best <laughs> you lead the way. Um, crack on, and as she does, she's going to cast a Presta Dissertation on herself <laughs> and just kind of clean off the worst of the dirt <laughs> on her shoes because she doesn't want to meet new people in this state. Um... <laughs> Okay. I'm going to read this from the book. I could have described it myself, but I thought, you know, flavour of the book. Yeah, flavour of the book. You see a dilapidated shack sitting crookedly atop a yellowed island within the swamp. A few scummy boats bob in a makeshift dock at the foot of the mound. From there, a wooden ramp zigzags up to a porch where a haggish woman and a scrawny, unkept man sit smoking pipes and arguing. Through the smudged panes of the window behind them, you see their establishment is dimly lit. You can make out the din of raucous conversation, but all is overshadowed by the pungent smell of sewage that seems to have ruminated all around you. I really shouldn't have bothered cleaning myself. <laughs> oh. oh my god, there's people over there. Do you reckon they could be our friends? They could like, come with us and start travelling with us, that'd be really fun. Or you could go travelling with them. Look at the pipes. I, I've always wanted to try smoking. Do you reckon they'd like... Oh, God, I could here? kill for a cigarette, you know. Have you got anything? She's going to call towards To the them. people. Yeah. <laughs> they, they, they sort of stop a bickering and just stare at you. So, cigarettes? I don't, I don't really think cigarettes are really, like, very big round here. I think, like, mainly because, well, everything's a bit damp. So, like, if you have a pipe... It's a lot easier. Yeah. But, like, if you've got to, like, do a rule up, mm-hmm. it's going to be a bit of a problem. Uh, personally, I'm going to head towards any kind of liquor. Yeah. Uh, you continue. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, naturally. I just, I could, I really, I'm, I'm, I could really use the buzz. Um, no, no cigarette. She's going to get a yeah. pipe, tobacco, <laughs> anything. <laughs> I'd look, I'd rub it on my teeth at this point. Um, the man puts, takes his pipe out and he looks at you and he's sort of he's just he's like haggard he's only got a few teeth in his head he's got sort of a stained shirt on and uh, he's how, how are you what are you doing here oh uh, well we i assume this is a tavern of some sort. yes it's a tavern but you don't look like you belong in my swamp well, thank you. Um, <laughs> glad that could be taken. Oh, don't f- don't scare off the don't scare off the patrons. Oof, don't scare them off. And there you look, and there's this woman, and she is she. I mean, she looks like she may have let herself go many, many years ago, or maybe she never had it. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, she's basically she's a she's a big woman. And uh, she's wearing just sort of a, barely a dress, just a piece of material that is covering some of her. <laughs> it's stained. And uh, yeah, she's sort of hair, not a lot of hair, but the hair she's got is all over the shop. And uh, she also has a pipe, which is sort of jabbing at uh, Wolf. And... You're more than welcome in our establishment. Don't, I'm not a lucky for the local. Mm, ah, well, if you've got money, I suppose you can come in. Oh, well, yes, we have some of that. Well, show me your money, then. Um, wouldn't it 
like be a better idea for us to show the money to like the bartender. But it's my bar. How do I know it's your bar? No, well, um, there it is. I'm outside. We're outside. It could be our bar. Show us some sort of deed, license of holding. Oh, don't be silly! You can't let them come in. We won't let them have drink without money. No, don't look at them. I don't look at them. Look at them. Look at that one with the they've got spiky feet. That one. That one's a goat. Do we let goats in the bar? Actually, no, I'm a satyr, so I'm like not actually a goat. It's more like a ram. Sort We're of quite thing. happy for and pets to be left outside. <laughs> He's talking a lot of that one. Just stop being rude to our guests. We haven't had new patrons in here in many years. Come in, dears. Thank you. Yes, we were we were sent in your direction. We were expecting a slightly warmer welcome, but this this will have to do, I suppose. Uh, as, as we go in, can I do a perception check to check if there are any boats around? Because yes. That was the reason That's we came here. here. I don't want to <laughs> don't want to bother stopping here unless there's the truck. Uh, what am I rolling? Wow. Perception. I mean, it's, it's a nat twenty, whatever. Yeah. So there are there are there's a, there's a dock not far from. So it's quite a long. You sort of entered on the the short side of the building. So the building goes away, and down to your left is um is sort of um some. I mean, they're boats. It's, there's one that's reasonable size, but it, it's more like just some wood that's floating on the surface. <clears throat> Um, and they're tied up. They definitely, pro de almost certainly, could get you through the swamp and could fit your entire party on a couple of them. So I'm gonna, knowing that I'm gonna likely be getting a little bit drunk, I'm gonna ask who I need to talk to about the boats. Okay. Oh, um, I don't know. I don't think anyone would let you have a. Oh, don't be silly! Don't let you have a boat. We got money for booze. We got money for boats. Oh, go and speak to Foxy. Foxy. Foxy, speak to Foxy. He's in there somewhere, probably drunk. But you go, go and do some serving. Oh, I don't want to do serving. Is we run not make any money going? Wolfram sort of stomps off into the bar while she still sits there. I'm gonna turn to Mal. Mal, let's see if you can use your godly ways to get us one of them boats. It, it'll be done in no time. You go and order your. Drinks that you mortals seem to need to survive, and I shall sort out the boats, and we'll carry on our way. Against my better judgment, I'm going to follow the god. Easily, I would. I I'm glad you've chosen this path. <laughs> it's taken time, I understand, but I shall. Uh, I shall go and sort out the boats, and he'll walk into this tavern. Oh, good. Well, keep March busy, into this tavern. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> And I'm literally following him, just to make sure it doesn't go wrong. <laughs> uh, Sh Snickers V is already at the bar. <laughs> oh, you've already got it, okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. Already, like, waiting there. Um, um, what, what, are you, what are you two doing? I'm also already okay. in. Yeah, sh uh, Quinn will follow in. I think, Quinn, if you're the last one in, just yeah. as you go in, you sort of, I mean, the smell outside is bad. Yeah. It's just sewage. Inside, it's kind of sewage with just human filth. <laughs> and, uh, you sort of you sort of look behind you and you see the first beautiful thing you've seen all day just the sun as it finally disappears over the horizon mm. and the swamp is pitch black apart from the dim light coming from the thirsty minx Oh dear. <laughs> <laughs> the impressive digestion could work on this place. <laughs> so you see you've got it as um it's as as you've gone in Particularly as as um, Mordecai has gone in, it's like in a western. Silence. <laughs> Everyone's looking at you, um, and uh, they sort of eye you quite, quite mm. like, quite dubiously as you enter the bar. <laughs> Hi. How's everybody doing? How's everybody's nights? How are how are we all doing tonight? And as you approach them, they sort of just turn their backs. They sort of turn their backs to their tables. Oh, with, with that, he'll press his hands together and cast light on his gauntlets to just be this radiant golden light. And he just put his arms up to the sides and be, "Do not fear from the presence of this god that I stand before you. We are in need of a boat this day, and this tavern has many. Is there anyone with one they could sell?" <laughs> There's this person at the bar, just sort of makes a noise, 
and uh, he looks well, like really dopey. And he has no teeth, no teeth at all in his mouth. <laughs> and uh, he's just kind of got dungarees, like just, that's it, just dungarees. He's barefoot and he's at the bar. He's got like a jam jar type of thing with some sort of liquid in it. Um, and uh, the others have sort of looked at him a bit. And uh, as you sort of, they are not, they haven't even looked at your... Glowing they're not hands. bothers. They're not, they're like, mm, and they just turn back to their conversations and sort of the bar carries on and the bard in one corner sort of gets sort of a nod from Wolfram and he carries on playing and um, singing. So they're quite, the songs you hear are quite like really old fashioned. Like you remember, they're like sort of the things you think of from hundreds of years ago. Um, but yeah. I think my greatness is beyond this tavern's comprehension. I just, something like that, mate. Perhaps, perhaps it should be better of a mortal speaking to one of them. Perhaps my follower. Not you. <laughs> you. Not you. No, I'm actually don't. really good in professional situations. No, like this. no, no. <laughs> just, 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 just this once. Let me. Yes, she I think Snickers B is probably the best. I, I, just, I, I, I'm just. She's going to be tearing up a little bit. I, I just need a second. <laughs> I just need a second to just get used to the. The stench. Um, oh, could anyone get? I'm, I'm, I'm going to get a drink. Uh, Snickersby is going to um, saloon style sidle up to uh, to the guy in the dungarees. Yeah. Um, because Snickersby is wearing like uh, chainmail armor and kind of she, she makes the cowboy noise. As she <laughs> chuk chuk chuk. Um, right. You made a little uh, little whiny noise there. Do you happen to have a boat, my friend? Mm-hmm. And he looks at Wolfred, and Wolfred looks at me. Um, oh, yeah, you've got a boat, yeah. Is it a boat that we could possibly hire from you, or maybe even purchase? Or you could decide to just donate it to the mighty god there. Oh, no, you can't. You can't have my boat. It's my only boat. Well, no, no, all right. What well, did I do for a boat? If I'd give you my boat, what would it? Well, maybe we could borrow it. No, you can't. No. I mean, you could come with. Well, so, uh, I, I take people to the... That's my job. It's my, I'm a boatsman. Oh, well, in that case, we don't need to borrow you. That's you why they, just take it somewhere. That's why they call me Foxy. Oh, you're Foxy. I'm Fo- so Foxy. I don't know why I put this voice. <laughs> <laughs> folks, folks this, is, this is the Foxy person, the um, blokey... How's like the boat? boat? I've got a boat. You've got a boat. Oh, good for you. Is it, is it big enough to um, fit, you know, a couple, couple of normal size ones like me and my friend Mac here? Um, a couple of freakishly <laughs> tall ones like um, Hello. like Quinn. Although technically I am freakishly tall. For, for a known. And the almighty. Uh, and, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, this one. She, she can come for free. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's lovely. Oh my god, oh, my name's Zaharia. Nice to meet you. Uh, hi. It's really, <laughs> it's really nice to meet you. I really like goats. Oh, it's not. It's not. So it's not like a goat. It's more like a ram. Um, but <laughs> I can totally see that because Zaharia, don't do ruin this. Don't engage. The bottom half's goat. Top half's woman. Perfect for me. I can see it's ram more than goat. But yes, like, goat. She's a goat lady. Yes, goat um, lady. And we're going to keep you as far away from possible as possible from him <laughs> um, <laughs> yes sir we would like to uh, hire your services okay yeah wonderful um, that well was that easy. was easy <laughs> that's good um, uh, um, uh, pipe bloke um, ten gold pieces ten gold pieces oh yeah we should be able to rummage that together I can cover the costs oh yes oh. it's a mere pittance good old old to the to, rescue you might need to give it to me today though that's Very, fine. No, no, hang on. We're going to set out tonight whilst it's dark. Oh, no, we won't go in. You can't leave the bar in the dark. Why not? Why not? I'd really like to leave. Have you seen the swamp? Well, we've just tripped through quite a lot of it. Someone from the other side. Wolfie, shut up, Wolfie. Oh, no, Wolfie, I'm Foxy. Foxy, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Um, it's fine. We can't go tonight because there's no lights. There's, there's no light. Have you seen his I can become a beacon of light. There's crocodiles. Right. Oh, crocodiles are well cool. So, they're like big lizards. <laughs> they're like good lizards. to wrestle with to practice. Oh, they're very big. Good. Okay. okay. Is there anything not, not 
No. Is well, there anything dangerous? What is, yeah. this, what is this? This is dark and spooky swamp. Of course, there's all sorts out there. That's why we all we stay in our homes. We just come here. We go to our we might go to our homes later, but they're not far. Wouldn't sail. Wouldn't sail south. So, yeah. Ray, would you advise that we stay here and get absolutely trashed and then go with the lights on? Well, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> oh, marvellous. That's what I could do with the money tonight, really. Oh, I see. Oh, um, I understand. Um, Lord, Lord God Almighty. Yes. Um, do you reckon you could give this bloke some uh, some coin? Easily done. He's, uh, he'll hand over um, like a velvet pouch with ten gold pieces. Oh, thank you. Got a nice little bag with that. No, yeah, keep nice. the bag. Can I get the bag? Of course. Yeah, take it as a as a token of uh, oh, of the god point. that once passed through your tavern. Sure. Oh, thank, thank you very much. Um, there you go, Wolf. There you go, Wolf Run. And he hands one of the gold coins to the to the old guy behind the bar. And puts the rest in his pocket. Can I buy you a drink, please? <laughs> yes, you can. What have you got an offer? What's your, what would you recommend oh. to a well, to me? Was not um. Can I, what can I recommend? Moonshine. Oh, that sounds so pretty. I I'll don't have some of that. know if moonshine is really appropriate. But the name's so cute. I think it'll be really nice. It'll get a really trouble. No, we're not here. We're not here <laughs> to do that. Um, could we just have some <laughs> ale? I think that's the best. Oh, I've had ale before. That is quite nice. Quite, quite like a bit of ale. Or a mead or something. Ooh, something hey. not quite. No, no white spirits. Oh, I don't, think. Clear don't, spirits. I don't. We, I don't, don't, we don't have any bees in the swamp. Mead. You got any wink bourbon? We've not got very well. We brew everything on the premises. Oh right. It's, yeah. it's we're you know we're a, we're a it's craft ale. You got anything that's not brewed with swamp water? Yeah. Do you import anything? No, no. With well, the moonshine, I don't make the moonshine here. Yeah, we get that from all over the swamp. Now the thing about moonshine it is it is really high percentage proof, and I feel like the alcohol might actually you know. Be the same. And, yes. Clean it. Be, 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 be cleaning the, the water. God, I suppose we're going to have to have the moonshine then, but we're going, we, we're not. Oh, 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 you can have some, you can have, oh, you can have some of the thirsty mink spirits. Ooh, all right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What kind of spirits has she got? Just, just the thirsty mix. So it's called the, the, the thirsty, thirsty mix. mix. The ale's called that as well. So all of your, all of your drinks called the thirsty mix. Got the moonshine. Right. I'm going to go for a thirsty mix then, please. I might go for a thirsty mix as well, actually. Do you want the thumb of the spirit or the, the, the pint of ale? Yes. Both? Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, pint of the spirit, please. A pint of the gosh. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Well, you might want to sit first, son. Uh, I'm big. I can handle it. It's like a child. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I will do you. I'll do you, there we go. So he pours six, he's not even paid attention. <laughs> he's paid foot five pay, he's sort of five thumbs of um, sort of little shot, they're, they're not really shot glasses, they're sort of um, just little sort of, um, almost like, um, as if they're sort of like, they look like they were glass bottles once, that they're sort of um, worn away by the ocean. <laughs> um, so they're of differing sizes. And uh, then he sort of gets, four jars out and he pours you um, some ale from a tap. So that comes from a tap. Um, it's it's not clear. <laughs> it's kind of cloudy. It's a quite dark brown. Um, and the spirit is also quite cloudy and dark brown. Lovely. Well, that looks delightful. Well, well bottoms up. And he pours himself one in. Cheers. Uh, here goes nothing. Good luck. <laughs> Archicon's just going to look at it for a moment, and I may partake in the consumption later, but being a god, I do not need to at this moment. However, Wait, I'm just going to grab his spirit. <laughs> by all <laughs> means, by all means, you do as you mortals do. I think just because he's a bit of a lightweight. I, I mean, you don't have to tell, take off your helm or anything. I, mean, I could get you a straw. Perhaps later on, if I need indulge in your activities of mortalness but as of now i do not need to i shall watch over you as you enjoy yourself thank goodness can you imagine what it'd be like if he were drunk that would be two two silver pieces please two, i'm sorry two silver pieces yes. each or for the whole for the, for the round well you've got this haven't you indeed i can i can if it's oh, needed 
Well, I'm starting to like him more and more. He'll um, he'll take two gold and hand it and just be like, "This is for whatever they may need for the rest of the night." But I had to take one more, perhaps a little bit extra. Oh, very good. You are more than welcome. Would you like a room? Hey, um, well, I, I suppose I could do. I could do a bit of sleeping. <laughs> I um, do with the rest, to be honest. And she's actually uh, Quinn's going to sort of roll her shoulders, which are hench, by the way, <laughs> um, <laughs> and sort of take the giant great axe that sort of sits on a very sort of intricate but very invisible um, uh, series of straps on her back, and she's just going to take the great axe off and like roll her shoulders, like thunk it down on the floor and sort of lean on it, um, just to make a point. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a fair big axe. Um, do you want this one silver piece each, please? Um, no, hang on. You've just been given three gold pieces for whatever that we might want. That was drinks, wasn't it? Yes, that was but... for whatever we might want. Mm-hmm. No, yeah, not for the rooms. That wasn't, sir. It wasn't for the rooms. I can give extra money for the rooms if yeah, needed. Just one gold piece will be yeah, fine. See you come that will do. It's sort of a hand over a gold piece. Oh, thank you very much. And everyone's now looking at you. Like everyone is now like, oh, hello. <laughs> 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 Sometimes like this, I'm, I'm really glad we don't have a bag of holding and I'm really glad it does not belong to him. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yes, yeah, so um, you've all had a drink. And now I've got a... Mm. Oh. Drinky maths. Let's sing the drinky math song. In the meantime, drinky math song. <laughs> maths, drinks, drinks of maths. They are the best combination ever. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Cool. So you, you've good. had your spirits and you're drinking your beer? Uh-huh. Cool. What would you like to see now? I mean, will does someone have any tobacco they will give me? <laughs> I've got tobacco. Do, for what kind? Well, just... The t- kind you roll, the kind you sort of put in a pipe. No, it's for my pipe. Okay, have you got any pipes going spare? No. Oh, I don't particularly want to share one. All right, has anybody got a notebook? Silence. 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 <laughs> Silence. <laughs> Any scraps of paper? We're playing a game over here. You want to play? Oh my god, yes. I love games. That sounds really fun. We should go. We should go, guys. Go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go play a game. That sounds really We've got fun. Got space for three people. Oh, oh, oh. I want to be one of them. Can I be one of them? I'd love to be one of them if that's all right, please. Are you, playing with car- Are you playing with cards? We're playing with dice. Oh, no, there's no paper there. Oh my god, a game with dice. That sounds a bit shit. But I'm, <laughs> I'm intrigued anyway. So um, I'm definitely in. Yeah, why not? I mean, something to distract me from the smell would be great. I'll throw bones down. I well, it's, would it's like to dice, not bones. Well, if you've only got space for three, um, carry on. So t- t- take a seat. Take a seat, ladies. All three of you. <laughs> I said it was a lady. <laughs> I'm sorry, is that supposed to be some kind of insult? Or being a lady? Yes. Yes. I'd rather go up against any of you around this table than any other ladies I'm with. I wouldn't go up against that one. What are you trying to say? Who is a fuck, okay? Oh, okay, excuse me, sir. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, like, I'm normally quite nice and chipper, but like you keep talking like that and I'm going to have to um, have some strong words to say, I think. No, Wolfie, leave it, Wolfie. We're playing a game. I'm so oh, okay. Don't worry about him. Don't worry about him. It just brings the he brings the beer. Does no one ever confront his uh, poor use of language? Because that's the only way things are going to change. Is if you confront them, that you can't just let it happen. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait a minute. Snickers bees mm-hmm. like really considering whether to, to cast the sacred flame or not. <laughs> And then Edwig! realizing it's a, a wooden bar. Yes, don't, 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 don't take it. Don't, don't, don't Edwig! Don't think I know what you're thinking. Edwig! And uh, in walks the woman from outside, sort of barreling in. People sort of like, clearly she's something to be feared. And uh, he said, what did you say to that to happen to Wolfie? Well, does anyone ever contr- uh, confront the language that he uses? Because that's the only way that anything's going to change, is if you sort of 
deal with the situation rather than just let it pass. She'd like you to confront his language. Oh, what's he been saying now? Wolfie! Wolfie! And they disappear out. <laughs> running on. Right, are we playing? I like her. <laughs> okay. High or low? Is High or low is the game. So this is a game from the new uh, Critted uh, book. Oh, oh, sorry you get to play. You're so mean. Only three people. Oh, don't worry, love. You can play in a minute. As soon as we knock one of these so out. So tag out. So. You need a d20. Ooh. And he passes you a, a, a d20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, these are interesting. So it's for six players. So I'm playing and the boys are playing. And uh, there's you sort of sat. Like this, basically, sort of with people in between. You can, you two can play for the boys. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I'll play okay. for the boys. Yep. Yeah. Uh, so. Hang on, I'm just going to re readjust the crotch. Hang yeah. on. Yeah. <laughs> get, in, get in the zone. <laughs> yep. In the now, uh, you see, obviously, we need a little kitty to play for. Uh, so, um, yeah. it's, uh, mm -hmm. everyone, everyone, a silver piece, everyone? Yes, I think I can manage yeah. that. Mount your card. Have you got any, like? Yeah, mm -hmm. Mal. Any more I can make donations, but I carry nothing smaller than gold. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll be okay. Blow on the dice whilst you're up there. <laughs> <laughs> he just puts a hand down and touches them and it casts light and it just glows. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. So we have none of that cheating. I feel I need to go for this dice. Yeah, now, give him a different dice. <laughs> right. <laughs> so we'll roll. Everyone roll. Okay. Now, I got a 14, what did the rest of you get? 16. I got a 16, Sam. So my patron's got a 16. Uh, this boy's got an 11. Eight. Okay, so, we'll let the guest go first. Shall we let the guest go first? I'm Too also kind. a guest and I also got 16. Yeah, but we'll let the man go first. <laughs> I think we're going to have issues through the rest of the evening. I don't know why. I don't. I've, I don't know ever why everyone in this bar is so unreconstructed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so gonna... I'll take it back. We'll let the lady go first, shall we, sir? There we go. If we can get her out quicker than we can any of the rest, okay. then yeah. Well, it's only that she gets to announce hers first. So all you've got to do is decide whether you're going higher or lower. Than the number I just rolled. Than the number you just rolled. Okay. I'm gonna get a number one. Oh, well, I'm gonna get a, a lower, in it. So uh, I think, in case this is ever recorded, mm -hmm. we should all say what number we rolled again, <laughs> and then <laughs> whether it's higher or lower. Okay, so I rolled a sixteen, and I think I'm gonna get lower than that. So if you get higher, you've got a drink. Okay. And the last one standing gets that nice pot of money. Can I drink if I get it wrong, get it right as well? You can drink your own drink, but uh, we're That's right, he, he, put, he pulls a bottle, he's got a whole bottle of the um, the, the Thirsty Mix Spirit, and he pours you all another shot. You I lose. literally take my shot straight away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Paul's writing it down. Oh, <laughs> it's drink maths, drink maths, <laughs> drinking and maths is a great combination. Right. I've got rules. I'm gonna. I will actually have to reread them. Uh, that's fine. We'll, we'll get there. Right. Um, okay. Uh, so uh, I had an eleven, and I think I'm gonna roll lower. I rolled an eight. I think I'm going to roll higher next time. I rolled. Uh, I rolled a fourteen. I'm gonna roll lower. I rolled a sixteen, so I think that's gonna be a lower. I'm gonna say the same. A sixteen and lower for me as well. Okay. Okay. Everyone rolls again. Oh dear. Oh. No. <laughs> I rolled a two, no. so I got lower. That's much lower. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Uh, I rolled an eight, which is what lower than eleven. I rolled a two, which what is lower, and so I got it wrong. Drink! I must. <laughs> she does not like getting things wrong. Oh dear. I've got the bees and knees. Thank you very much. Sorry, what does that mean? Oh, it's, I rolled the same number, 14 again. But that's neither high nor lower. It's the bees knees! You never played high and low? Have you never played a bees knees? Um, no. <laughs> well, the bees knees is the bees knees. So it goes straight through. I don't think bees have knees. Yes, I thought they were just sort of... 
No, it's just two numbers that are the same. I don't think right. there are so bees in the swamp. That's why we're yeah, not having meads. You, you were telling us that there aren't any bees. Why are we talking I about the meads? I wasn't there are bees. That was, that mead. That was right. Now it's just some whimsy <laughs> <laughs> to make our dreary lives more fun. Yes, well, I imagine uh, you need quite a lot of that. I, you sure become adventurous. What about you, little man? I, I rolled a 16 last time. I rolled a 5 this time. Oh, that was lower. I'm copying you. A 16 last time and a 5 this time. What well are the done, chances Well done, boys. Quite, yep, yep, yep. And me as well as I got I did go to Grey as well. What did you do? Well, I got, as you said, as I said before, I, I got... Well, I know, but I'm just saying to my boys, we're doing well. you got to encourage them. Oh, your friends. I thought you meant because they're a little bit small. Yes, no, Sometimes it's encourage people and make sure they realise. It's alright. She doesn't mean it. I don't know. I, don't, I feel like my, my masculinity is being emasculated. <laughs> it's not your masculinity, it's more your intelligence. Alright. Oh, I'm insulting your masculinity. <laughs> <laughs> I feel I might go and talk to my therapist. <laughs> oh, that's good. You're in therapy. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're, we're quite forward thinking here in this one. Oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> some, of your, some of your cohort were giving us the wrong impression. He's, oh, he's yeah. lost his fucking mind. <laughs> <laughs> right, that's uh, so. Let's roll again. First roll. Oh wait, do we have to? Do we have, do we to, have to say whether or not it's going to be higher or lower than the thing we just roll? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you are right there. I'd forgotten the rules. Oh, look who needs their intelligence questions. <laughs> uh, right. So we'll start with the person who rolled highest this round. Which is me, I rolled 14. No, they rolled 16. Oh, no, no you rolled lower. Yes, yeah, no, sorry. So I think I'm going to be lower again. Okay. But you weren't lower last time. I got the bee's knees. I question that rule. I got a five, so I think I'm going to go higher. I'm just going to stick with whatever you say and go <gasps> higher again. Smart I rolled, boy. I rolled a two, so I'm definitely going to say higher. Uh, mine was an eight, so I'm going to go for higher. Yes, I rolled a two, so I think I'm going to go higher. Who's not intelligent now? You're out, love. Oh. Oh, I'm out. You're out for this round. Don't oh. worry. We'll have plenty of rounds as the night goes by. Well, that's a shame. Oh, my God. I got the bee's knees. I rolled a two again. Oh, well done. So we're still yeah. How are you? All right. So I got a 13, just lower. Who? I've gone bee's knees. Another oh, bee's knees? Oh I don't know God. where my accent went oh, there. Oh my God, we got bee's knees together. Right. We're, like, we're like best friends. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Snickers be laughing her ass off. I'm still in. 16. Very good. Mm. Bee's knees for you. Uh, no, uh, I rolled I rolled lower. I rolled a three. Um, okay. Oh, Malcolm. Fucking disappointed. <laughs> Malcolm knocks back his spirit and falls off his chair. <laughs> <laughs> Malcolm, was... come over here. I think we should talk about your therapy. <laughs> <laughs> right. Now we can get the rest of them to attend. <laughs> so you rolled highest this time, higher or lower than 16? Higher. Higher? Oh, yes. the whole it. bar goes. Oh. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Uh, I rolled a two. Uh, got a bee's knees. So I think I'm going to roll higher, hopefully. I've got a 13. I'm gonna, I think it's going to be lower. Hey, I'm going to go higher than the five. Okay, we'll all roll again. Oh, for fuck's sake! <laughs> <laughs> Thank <laughs> fuck! <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. It's just that I rolled a nat one, so I'm like, oh, whatever a nat one is. I just rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> well, you got a drink then. Okay, this is really yummy. So like that, I'm not even mad. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul writes down some numbers. <laughs> <laughs> well, Paul looks at the rules. <laughs> drinking maths, drinking maths, maths and drink is a great combination. I feel like every time you sing, this is something that you guys have done. Yeah, Constitution saving throw. Oh, yeah. Still wrong, subsided. Uh, 14. Okay, you, you're still doing okay? Okay. Yay! I feel great. Okay. Um, 
Um, oh, I rolled, I rolled, uh, oh shit, I rolled a 20. He drinks his drink. Right, it's between you two then. He'll lean in. I messed up. <laughs> 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 what about you, little man? I, I got 11. That's higher than 5. What's oh yours? Oi. Oh my god, well done, Mac. I'm really proud of you. That is going to come in handy later. Aye. <laughs> right. Almost as handy as Mal is. Well, technically, half of it was already our money, so... Shh. It was all Mal's money. <laughs> well, let's let the vis- I'll play again. You fuck off. Let's play with the vis- I'll play with the visitors. <laughs> right, the okay. Right, come I on. I want that Bring big it. night fella to play. Um, uh, he's yeah. actually um, he's he's like he's actually a god. Well, so he thinks he's a god. It might be it might be cheating. Uh, My uncle thought he was a god. <laughs> Didn't pan out. <laughs> 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 Maybe if he'd gone to therapy, he could have sorted things out. I think it was I think it was his own belief in flying that caused him the big problem. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, like all those people that came off of that tower in uh, in the plug hole that one time. Oh, do we don't talk about the plug hole around here, mate. Oh, what's the plug hole? It sounds delightful. Like, oh, do you want to go not, there? Like, not it, it got really like destroyed and stuff. Oh no, it was just a shame. I reckon all the people there were really, really yeah. lovely. It's oh, such a shame. Oh, hello, this is Goat Lady. I know about a plug hole. No, no, we're not going Oh my gosh, really? Is it like the big plug Zahara, hole? Zahara. If you come with me, I'll show you. Zahara, you don't want to go anywhere on your own with that gentleman. Oh, oh, do you want to come with me again? Not particularly. Oh, I reckon they'll be really fun. Like, <laughs> they're really fun. No, thank you. I think, you know what I think we should do? We should stay here and play the game. Oh my God, that's really good because this game is so fun. It's like literally the most fun I've ever had in my entire life, ever. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, everyone in then. Silver coins in. Right. Um, uh, Mal, can you lend us uh, some money? I can indeed, yes. Oh, <laughs> um, can, I, can that bit of gold like like count for me as well, please? Because that's like it's worth more than one silver, right? Oh yeah, oh uh, yeah, all right. Uh, free, yeah. Okay, that will do you free. Nice. I, I, I've put in the um, actual one of the silvers that I got from the last round. All right, mate, leave it. Sticks these like, like tons of money on. Right, everyone roll. The damn dice. I haven't said it yet, have I? Oh. Everyone roll the damn dice. Oh, no need to be rude. Ooh! I rolled the 20. That is very good. Well, you know, um, I, I rolled a number four. Um, a 13. I roll 14 again. Along with my good friend, I rolled a four. What about you, Giant? No, Miles Ma- is watching still. Oh, 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 sit down, Mal. Get involved. Just roll I'll the drink dice. your drink. I mean, Go on, I shall bless yes, you. My you presence. Don't need a drink. You Let's don't have a look. He does have to drink. He is a drinking guy. You'll have to get in a straw. The helmet is not to be removed. Yes, he's very particular about mm-hmm. his helmet. Yeah, to yeah, behold yeah. my features think, would fry the minds of a mortal. I think he's maybe got a troublesome T zone and he's, he's, he's worried about <laughs> caring. Um, I imagine he's fuck ugly. Oh, well. Is he ever Ugly, so. Well, not that one. Maybe if you're not fo- focused within the beauty within. I don't know if you're coming on to me, love, but I'm not. I'm not <laughs> it's not the way I uh, roll, to be honest. <laughs> I don't um, think anyone in this bar's got beauty within or without. I have beauty within. I know Quinn's quite pretty, isn't she? Oh, thank you, darling. She's like, and she's like. Our nice party excluded, of course. Ooh, 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 ooh. I had beauty within once, but he left for the plug hole. <laughs> Oh my god, what is the plug hole? Can somebody t- it just I just want to confirm which plug I'll show you! <laughs> <laughs> no, come on! Let's play, right! Higher or lower, you start! Well, lower, and I'll definitely win because I can either get lower or the bees knees again. Bees you can. And I'm going to go for higher because no, I got a four. Then what? Then a four. Then a four, you said four. I did say four. Mm, I got a 13. I, given my current luck, I think I'm going to go lower. Okay, I've got 14, I'm going lower. I'm, I'm going higher than my four. 16 is for me and I shall go lower. Everyone roll. Doesn't sound very godly. I 
did you say? Every time I've done this, I've got a 16, then a 5, then a 16, now a 5. Oh my <laughs> god! <laughs> That's all I've done. <laughs> right, so here we are. I think I heard your name was. Yeah. What did you roll? Oh my god, oh, good memory, by the way. Um, I got a 13. Oh, you rolled lower then. I did roll well lower. Done. I've, um, I've gone upside down 6, which is higher than a 4. So a 9. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's like, that's the that, best joke. Was that you, Drake? <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't me. I know it's not. I am aware I have baby brain right now, but it's not that bad. That was <laughs> sick as me. Okay. Just say I'm a short for picnic. <laughs> what about you? Um, I got um, I got an upside down nine. <laughs> uh, I got a six, which is lower than. I've got a nine. That's lower. I, I got an 18. Oh dear. You got it higher. That, that is higher. You're fine then. <laughs> <laughs> right. And you got, you got a five. I was of course correct in my guess and a five is what I got. Okay. Uh, I feel like the people at home must think we're playing this with real tequila. Most of us just have tea. Uh, oh, well, I can't remember what we all said now. Oh, yeah, we haven't done high or low yet. No, we've, uh, we've, we've got, got a guess. Two. Hi, 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 hello, hi, hello, yes. Okay. So, who oh, starts? What I rolled. <laughs> no idea. I think seven. you rolled a 14. 14. 14. I'll say it was a 14. Uh, who starts? I, is 14 the high? I'll start. Come on, lower. 18, I'm going to go lower. And a 5 will make me go higher. Uh, go to 13, I think. I'm going to go lower. I'm going to go higher. Yes, I got six. I'm going higher. Everyone roll. Oh, oh look, I got the bee's knees. Isn't that nifty? <laughs> I got two. I'm lower. I got 16. Just lower than my 18. It seems this dice is wrong. It's wrong. <laughs> no, it's correct. <laughs> I can't see through this helmet at times I've gone higher than an 18. An 18 I got an upside down one. So I wrote four. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, now it's either 0.1 or 1.0. Oh, it's a 10. It's a 10. <laughs> yes, I got a six. Everyone's rolling well then. Right, I think I'm going to roll higher than my two. Right, I'm going lower than my 16. Lower than the 18. Higher than my one. Ooh, bollocks. Um, I'm going to go lower than my 10. Yes, and I'm going higher than my six. Oh. 13, higher. I am going to drink. I got a uh, 61. Oh, sorry, 19. Everyone gets drunker. Drink. Oh, okay. Can you roll a constitution? I can at that. Ooh. That is a two I've rolled, uh, so that's a seven. You are feeling tipsy. I mean, I've had five of them shots, <laughs> and one of them beers. I'm not surprised. He's a rock dome. <laughs> yeah. All subsequent checks are made with disadvantage. Uh, unless, have you got uh, resistance to poison? Uh, no, I don't believe I do. Well, then they're made at disadvantage. And uh, disadvantage on all dexterity skill checks, and a minus two penalty to attack roll. Oh! Maybe start a fight. Maybe start a fight. <laughs> no. Who am I kidding? <laughs> I don't know. I think we're getting on really well, so I don't think we're going to start any fights at all. Okay, so roll again. Um, Hang on, no, the rest of us haven't you. Oh, we didn't find out about anyone else. No. just drank. Successful as it could be, I've rolled a three. I rolled an 11, which is higher than my one. I got, I got a number two, which is lower than my 10. Yes, and I got an 11, which is higher than my six. Why well, am I getting one. thirsty? Everyone's doing very well. Well, you can yes. have a drink if you want. Right. Does she drink her beer or a shot? Her beer. Okay. Oh, um, uh, we need to know whether we go higher or lower. Our, I said 13, I'm going lower. Higher. Than what? Than the three. I rolled an 11 and I'm gonna go higher. Ooh. Go a bit risky. I rolled a two. I'm gonna go lower. <laughs> I 
Uh, the, the queen's going to whisper over, are you sure? No, I'm not sure. But I thought it'd be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> right as you were. Well, I got an eleven. I think I'm. I'm going to try and use the area. I'm gonna. I'm going to try and get higher. Oh my god, dream team. Yeah. Oh, bugger. Oh yay! Well, <laughs> <laughs> I rolled lower. I'm still here. Ah, a nine. Of course, it's higher, and I'm still in. I got an eighteen, which is higher than my eleven. I've got um I got B's knees, um but with another zero after it. Hey, I think I think you've got a drink. Oh, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> She's just gonna knock back her uh, her spirit. Um, Quinn. Some of us know how to play this game, right? <laughs> <laughs> Quinn's just going to lean back. <sighs> Stupid game, anyway. Uh, she got a ten. <laughs> uh, Quinn got a drink as well. And then yeah, she'll she'll sort of knock back the shot. <laughs> Can you roll me a constitution? Mm, yes, I can. Oh, fuck, that's a two uh, plus uh, six, seven. Am I tipsy? tipsy. Oh. Uh, can you all roll a perception check? Oh, fuck. Uh, 19. 19. Seven. Oh, wow, 22. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. 16. No matter how drunk I get, I can still see. That's an 18. Um, yeah, 19. None of you notice anything. Oh. oh. Huh? <laughs> I love it. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, who's still in then? I'm still in? Of course, I am. Oh, I am, I am. I'm still in. I'm here. I'm, I'm, my, um... I might just, you know, just sit here and, and have a drink. Go for it. Do you want another one of these? Let me pause you another shot. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna have one. Do me a constitution save, please. What were the what were the features of being tipsy uh, again, sorry? Do, yeah. Um that <laughs> is a seven. Okay, so you're tipsy. Nice. Uh, we've, all, um, we've all gone tipsy also, with sevens. I don't the advantage gets poisoned. Oh, do you? Okay. Um, you can roll it. Advantage. Cool. In that case, 19. Oh. Okay. Okay. Um, so tipsy, uh, disadvantage on all subsequent checks. Mm-hmm. Um, all dex skills, was it? Yeah. Deck skills uh, yeah. and minus two to attacks yeah. rolls. Okay. I'm really concerned about potential combat. <laughs> okay. I'm concerned that there's not going to be enough of it. <laughs> and about where my accent is going. <laughs> sorry, sorry, so it's disadvantage on all checks, disadvantage on deck skills, and minus two on attacks. Okay. Stupid game anyway, I didn't like it. I'll roll, I'll roll to two, so I'm going to say higher. Eight, so higher. Um, I rolled an 18, so I'm going to go lower. Very good. Let's roll. Oh, got the bee's knees. Good for you. I got a four. And a four. The okay. dice have failed me. My god, we were seeing those, that's quite cute. Hmm. So you got a drink. I'll grab his drink and down it. <laughs> Knowing that he ain't gonna drink it. <laughs> he, he, like the helmet had turned off, there's no expression to be seen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright. You've got to drink your own drink, I think. What do you think, lads? Like you look around, you hadn't noticed, but basically the whole bar is now gathered around and watching yeah. this game. Oh, yeah. He has to drink his own. Oh, yeah, he has to drink his own drink. I mean, he's mm. going to take his helmet off, gave him a straw. I've, I've got a reed. I can consume it for a reed. That will spare the lives of all your patrons. So Foxy gets a... <laughs> have to pour him another. Foxy gets a reed out of his um, dungaree. Front, front pocket for dungarees. <laughs> as long as it's out the pocket. Not <laughs> oh, yeah. oh. Poor Avery, you created the creepiest character you possibly can. He's your boatman. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> I don't know, he seems quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> You've lived a sheltered life, haven't you? <laughs> well, I've never left the, the town before. Oh, yeah, of course. I've never really met a lot of people. 
Okay. So I yeah. could show you the world. <laughs> <laughs> that would be really nice. It's a shining shimmer in the sun. <laughs> That's nice, more like smelly, <laughs> bitey, and stinky. Right. More world, anyway. Yes. It's a whole new world, isn't it? <laughs> mm. Watch out for the mouse! <laughs> As you look around, two big ears. And yeah, he'll put the reed in the drink and then lean forward and drink it through the dots and the front of his helmet. <laughs> I mean, I can not help but feel that he would genuinely be a lightweight if he's never drunk before. Yeah. We don't know that he's never drunk before. So he must also be horrifically dehydrated. Yes, that's what I was thinking. I need not He's drink. a god. I'm a god. <laughs> so, right. Well, just me and you then. Oh, okay. I didn't realise everybody the, has gone out. I was kind of scared. I'll my two it. again for my bee's knees. So uh, I'll say higher. I got a four, so I'm also going to say higher. 18. 9. Lower. Higher. Roll again. 6. Oh, fuck. 7. <laughs> Drink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and can you do me a constitution saving throw? Of course I can, my love. Constitution saving. 15. Very good. There's not a lot to do in the, uh, in the village, so like... I've kind of built up quite a tolerance. Well, what I think, as I've, um, as I've won, I'll treat you all to some of this. And he reaches down behind, below the table, and he's got a, like a mace, like a, uh, not a mason jar, like a, a stone jar. Um, and he, he pours into your pint glasses, a big pint of whatever's in this thing, which is actually clearer and a bit sweeter smelling than anything you've... Um, possibly a medicine check on it, please. Yeah. I'm going to do a check by drinking it. <laughs> uh, that is a nat 20. Ooh. And it will be plus 5, so it will be 25 um, medicine checks. Wow. So it's... Um, what, how are you doing the check? How are you checking it? What are you uh, doing? Having a sniff. Yeah. Um, putting it between her fingers and rubbing it, see how viscous it is. Mm. Um, a little tiny bit on the end of the tongue. Okay, I mean, it. it is very, very strong alcohol. Okay, but it is not poison. It is not poison. Okay, well, some would argue. <laughs> Nick, so, uh, this tastes like it might be a little bit spicy, uh, but other than that, it feels good to me. Okay. <laughs> Get that down your straw. <laughs> uh, go on, then. I, I, will, I will indulge in this some more, and he'll move the reeds to this glass or stone tankard. Can you all do me a constitution sound? Of course. Quinn is not drinking it. She's not going to. Yeah. Oh, mm. Snubbed. Quinn has just oh. sniffed it and is just like, no I've got thank you. Oh, thank God. <laughs> that one. Oh. So two. Ouch. I've got a 40. Uh, what? No. 19. And I've got a plus 5. But I've got to do it at disadvantage, haven't I? Oh, no. <laughs> So that was a 24. <laughs> that was a 24. What's this one going to be? Oh, fuck. That's disappointing. That's a nat one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We both got nat ones. That's like, I mean, whatever it is in, like, the game world. But, like, oh, my God, we're both, like, I'm assuming pest now, to be honest. Mm. Oh, um, I, that's even worse. I, I'm, I'm just wondering whether my advantage still applies. Is do I have advantage? Do I have advantage against poison or? Uh, you you've got advantage on the roll, yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, just checking. Um, uh, Twelve. Twenty, not natural. Oh, very good. Okay, so you two. So that's Zahiria and Mac are drunk. Oh. <laughs> My God, I'm having a great night. Just kind of. Have I was... told you that I love? All of you. <laughs> You're on my face. No, uh, Quinn was still feeling sulky about being knocked out, and she's sort of arm on her on the end of her axe, just sort of like. You uh, you're not gonna drink that. 
Well, no, it smells foul, and I don't really like this feeling. I don't, I don't like getting drunk. I'm just going to okay? push that no, one it doesn't, over it, to it, Mal. It, <laughs> it brings out less than ladylike. You're challenging me. Do hey, you I am that, my boy. Oh, God. So, you're drunk. You have, uh, you now have um, disadvantage on all dexterity and charisma skill check. <laughs> I'm not sure I had advantage on any charisma as it was. As well as a minus four to attack rolls. Ouch. Oh Um, my god. And join me, you are tipsy. I'm tipsy. (laughs) At 12. Yeah, so you now have, you lose your uh, advantage. um, So you have disadvantage on all deck skills skills, um, and all your saving throws and minus two to your attack. And you two drunkards get to roll on the drinking chart. Oh, oh no. Nice. You failed to print it out, sorry. Um, talk about yourselves. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to drink that then, Mal. Right. Oh, he will. He will. Good. He'll drink the other one as well. Oh, I am not sabotaging the party at all. Did you I mean, need me to roll a check in the meantime? I know we've had a really tough for? day and all, but yeah, I just drunk don't think it's wise Utterly shit face in, a, in this really less than palatable location. You cannot defeat a god. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not okay. sure another point. <laughs> so, can you two both roll a d100? That oh. is. Um, I literally, as I got a max, all sorry, of the dice out, hero. as I got all of the dice out, I literally put the hundreds back because so I was like, you never use d100. Never use d100. All okay. the more reason. Okay. okay. I that. rolled a seventy-three. Seventy-three. Okay. So the in the over. book, there is loads of effects, so it's quite fun. Mm-hmm. Let's see what the effect of you being very drunk is. Okay. Seventy to seventy-four effect. Almost nonsensical speech. That's no different <laughs> than normal. <laughs> for one d four hours. Oh. <laughs> oh. I was going to say, like everyone says, this is not one, just the one hour. Okay. For an hour. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And the affected creature's speech is so slurred that it is nearly impossible to understand what they are saying. <laughs> oh. How many of your spells are semantic? Brilliant. The creature is unable to do anything regarding <laughs> the persuasion or performance skills. Furthermore, any spell that is cast exclusively by verbal means is unable to be performed, as the caster's words are simply too garbled to release <laughs> the <laughs> Oh my god, this person fucking brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> I got a 40. A 40. Man scrolls. <laughs> I really, I actually wish that Quinn had drunk now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sure if you ask nicely, he'll give you another pint. Yeah. Well, you've got the pint there. He didn't take it away. It's sad. No, no man drunk. Yeah. He drank he it. Did, yeah. Yeah. Oh, so Matt gave it to Mal. Ah, oh, let's see. Okay. Mac and Mal's drunk uh, it. <laughs> For 1d4 hours, the affected creature's long-term memory becomes warbled. Warbled? Warbled. Good word. That's, that's just the one hour. For an hour. Um, for the duration, the affected creature must make uh, a percentile roll to recall information pertinent to themselves or the campaign, such as locations, names, or other specific details. (laughs) Uh, DM can use their discretion to determine what information constitutes this role. Up to you. So um, at this point, um, Wolfie comes out. He says, oh, you look like you're having a good old time. He gave me all that gold. You're gonna, gonna, I'll tell you what, I'll get, you can all have a round. So oh, he, that sounds funny. Fucking, fucking he pours genius. you all out a little thumb of spirits. You, now, now I don't want to be like mum or nothing, but do you maybe have any drinkable water? I will yes. sorry, I mean, that something, is absolutely fine. Something to just. Yeah, sorry, darling, not quite catching that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we just we just need something. Maybe or maybe some food. Just to sort of soften the blow. Oh, hey, food. Any, oh, 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 I'd I'll love some something food. that's just bread. Oh, I'd file a ball and change it. Just a child of bread. <laughs> 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 Who's bare like this? <laughs> 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 wouldn't, wouldn't we a widow like some bread? Would that have bread here? 
You don't have bread. No, we have a sort of. Um, Fruit <laughs> 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 What about. I'm, I'm just trying to think of starchy, starchy foods that could just soak some of this up. Maybe some potatoes. Uh, um, what I can offer you is uh, uh, a flame seared uh, reptile steak. It's caught locally. I could go for one of those. Oh, it's fine. Give me, I'll get. Yeah, it's just a, a, a selection of, of food cooked, just for the cooked, cooked, of cooked food. Okay. Cooked food, please. Oh, I don't, I don't trust you. anything. Oh, cooked. No, I wouldn't trust it. Uh, now drink up. Oh, I've had, I've, I've I've had yours. Food you can have all for these. Here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, I feel it's going to waste, but of course. Can do such a thing. He's having two. You know what? We, <laughs> he's he's having having two. Two. You know what? We've had a really hard day of slogging through this swamp. We're, we're not leaving till the morning. We'll be okay. Well, Everyone roll a constitution check. Do I got a different roll dice? Because this one's not oh, oh, yeah. oh, no. Oh, no. Because you have to roll two. Oh, I got a 19. Oh. You have to roll again. Yeah. Fight me. I got a fave. I got a nat one. Join oh, us! We can go not one in them all! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so shit! Okay, second drink. Oh, so you're tipsy. Okay, I got your notes with tipsy still. Okay, yeah. you yeah. two are drunk. Oh, oh god. god. And, um. Uh, Zaharia slipped. The, the rules at this point become quite harsh, Zaharia, I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> This is really fun. Me just talking. Bollocks is so funny. So Zahiria is lying on the floor. We'll let you keep talking because it is funny. Oh, okay. But I have to start doing death saves. What? <laughs> okay. Uh, the next level no, of the rules. No. Uh, can I? Can I ask uh, what happens when we're drunk? Okay, you can roll me. Yeah. A, uh, so yes. Um, you had disadvantage to your charisma skills on top of the deck, yes, and, and your minus, minus four, four on attack rolls. Okay. And roll me a d100, please. Oh, oh yeah. No. I like these D100s. I don't think I've ever... Like, it's been ages since I rolled a D100. What do you actually do? No, it's just so a you, you want to roll a 10 and a, and a and D100. A, yes, yeah. okay. So... Oh, what's the wolf? Okay, I've got the 30. Maybe. Oh, that's 20. the, that's the max. That's 10. Oh, okay. So i got a 34. 34? Yeah. That's 30 to 34. There's loads. That's 30 to 34. There's absolutely loads of effects. Wow. Oh, my God. <clears throat> okay. Deterioration, deteriorating perception of reality for 1D4 hours. <laughs> <laughs> perception of reality. Okay. Um, <laughs> that is one hour. We've all lucked out okay. the defaults. Yeah. While affected, a player experiences exhaustion level three. Ooh, oh, damn. What does that mean? That is going to be disadvantage to attack rolls and saving. Uh, no, to ability checks, half speed, and then attack rolls and saving throws. So half speed and basically any d20s with disadvantage. Oh, so disadvantage on ability and saving. And attacks. Yeah. And attacks. Oh my god. <laughs> um, deteriorating If this player <laughs> enters combat during the duration, he or she must make a constitution save of DC 13. Uh, should a player fail the save, they fall prone. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's a harsh one. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, 102. Oh. That's two. Isn't it? Two zeros and a two. Yeah. Oh, it's only because you said the wolf was 10. So that'll be, yeah, be 100. It, it's, but they're the zeros. Because you can't get 102 out of 100. No, that would be really stupid. So 12. <sighs> two. 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 The double no, zero is an actual zero. What, what have you. What did your 10 roll? Uh, two. And you rolled the wolf. Yeah, on the other one. Wait, what? Well, I used two d10s because you didn't. You don't have a d100 in here. Oh right. Yeah, I don't know where my Do own. Do you want to re-roll that? Okay. Yeah. So for for people who are really confused by that, uh, we've because we we've changed our dice trays 
uh, to kind of match the color schemes of our characters. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm using Joemi's dice and uh, Joemi's using my dice, and I don't have any D100s <laughs> in my dice tray. That is now um, 25. <laughs> It's really weird using someone else's dice. It's we realise it's very. It feels very personal. Yeah, it feels a bit intimate. Yeah. yeah. This yeah. is gonna feel intimate. Lust for urges for one day. Oh, one day four hours. Right. Oh my god. Oh, giving that horny pregnant woman. <laughs> oh, anyone. Oh, uh, all <laughs> for the duration, the affected creature has very low standards when it comes to courtship. It's just like you drunk. Aren't <laughs> <laughs> uh, <Are> we all? <laughs> while so affected, hags appear as radiant maidens, uh -huh. uh, while ogres might as well be chivalrous knights. The urge to make uh, indiscreet uh, passes at whoever, uh, whomever their drunken vision deems a suitable candidate is uh, compressed only by the role of a natural 20. <laughs> oh. uh, all other roles cause them to venture off to the first creature they see. DMs, can, DMs discretion. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. So here's a disorder. You're, you're, you're tipsy. tipsy. Yes. You're not He's just gone to the stage of tipsy. Okay. Um, um, what? Mm. Um, sleepy drunk. So, um, <laughs> yeah. Snickers V, if, if you'll allow this, we'll just kind of drunkenly, like, blink her eyes a bit and then spot Hedwig <laughs> across the bar. Near you what? You just, you look like, like, what I'd imagine, like, a goddess to look like, you, you are, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go and shag that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no, oh my. She's just gonna oh. kind of stagger across the bar. Well, aren't you, like, when tall drink of water? Oh, come on then. And she slipped behind the bar. Hey, Snickerdoodle. What? No. No? No, Snickerdoodle. Uh, Come okay. back. Have I got a, a. Roll a d20. Roll a d20. Should we. Should we try. Has uh, she ever acted like this before? I just. I, to be honest, this is a first time. <laughs> <point. laughs> nice, Matt. Matt just wants to use his, his drunkenness. <laughs> oh, ha <laughs> <laughs> ha <laughs> ha! Well, it was a d20. Well or, no, it was a hundred. Uh, it was a percentage. Yeah. 87. Do you remember 87% of the times she has acted like this before? Which uh, is quite a lot. Has yeah. she, does she, would she normally act? Uh, yeah, she, she's quite, um, she's not like bored horny, but like she's, you know, she's gorgeous. <laughs> like everybody else. I mean, you, it's, even in your drunken state, I would suggest it's surprising that she was attracted. <laughs> I mean, Lower than her usual standards, but let her be, let her be. No, she knows what she's doing. But Snickerdoodle, I just don't want you to regret what? any choices. Oh, you made. she's do regretted you... many choices. Look, look, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna regret it. Look at her beautiful curly hair, both of them. <laughs> <laughs> And she's gonna kind of like doze, <laughs> like just like okay. Well, yeah, you you do what you need to do. And you really need to find whatever you want to do. I'm like, yeah, it's fine. This is really great. This is really great audio. Uh, <laughs> audio podcast. Now at home, guys, you could play this with actual drinks. Yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, I rolled an eighteen. But you guys, by the way. Are, but you guys aren't actually drinking. <laughs> <laughs> right. So. You, Snickers B, you head out. I'm, I'm heading out, mate. Um, you uh, sort of stagger down a corridor and um, you sort of uh, find yourself in a, uh, a room um, and 
what you see in front of you is, actually roll me a perception check at disadvantage. I was going to say, it's some serious disadvantage. <laughs> uh, that would be a five. So what you see, like your eyes, it's really hazy. But there's, you find kind of think, oh, am I, you're in a bedroom, mm-hmm. but then you're like, oh, am I in some sort of temple or something? Because there's some sort of altar set up with some sort of crocodiles um but it's you're too now too attracted to um to she's now lying on the bed <laughs> we'll cut yeah. <laughs> uh, so back in the bar these guys are all wasted you're you're feeling a bit and mm-hmm. um the uh the 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 guy who you were drinking with who started the game says Hey, I'll go on, have another one, and he pours you another pint of um, the of, uh, moonshine that he has. Do you have any more of these reeds? They're quite a fantastic thing, allowing me to drink as I need to. Give him two, and then he can have two drinks. Maybe I put a like... little umbrella in one of them. I, <laughs> I need a bunch of I, reeds. I don't say it very often. I agree with that. So, um, what well, she say? just do said, a, can you do a perception check? Spot on. Um, so, uh, no. Mal, Maljacon's going to do a perception check. Disadvantage on tips? Disadvantage, very much so. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> um, where are we, where are we? Uh, ten. What? Ten. What? Okay. No. Oh, that's, a nat- that's, that's not a seven. seven. Yeah, that's a nat one. I'm pissed and I can see that. <laughs> and yeah. God cannot roll nat ones. <laughs> you notice nothing. Okay. Um, so you drink, uh, you've got two. So he's going to get, has he been handed a bunch of these reeds? Can he get hold of more? Oh, like everyone in the bar was <laughs> rummaging around <laughs> for reeds. Had you passed your perception <clears throat> check, you would realise that there is nothing happening than everyone watching you get drunk. But you didn't okay. notice that at all. There's silence in this bar. Excellent. And yeah, people are like desperate to find you this reed. Yeah. Um, and had you not, had you succeeded in your perception, you'd have noticed that they don't necessarily look like they've got your best intentions <laughs> at heart. Yeah, you didn't know. So he's gonna no, he's gonna pocket um, <laughs> these reeds. Yeah, um, and then he'll uh, he'll sort of eye over, he'll sort of push the drink away, and sort of look over towards the bar. What is the strongest shot? I believe the mortals call it that you have, and I shall prove to you now that you cannot defeat a god. Okay. Oh, if that will prove yes. to this tavern of I my know. power, I shall do such a thing. So um, they all look at, um, uh, at Wolf, Wolfram, and he he um, he's like he goes behind the bar and he pours he pours something. You don't really see what he's pouring, but he brings across to just a, a shot glass of black liquid. Oh, I never drink black sambuca. Mm. It's the worst stuff. <laughs> the cafe is quite nice. And he'll look, so the guy that challenged him and gave him this drink. He'll sort of like point the helmet dead towards him as he leans down and just yeah draws this liquid up through his straw reed. <laughs> Do me a constitution save, please. <gasps> oh god. At disadvantage. At disadvantage. For reasons you know, I'll do. Um, so it's it's a nine, but there's something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so yeah, a nine. But he's not phased at all, even with a like the chug of it. There's no, no nothing to him. Oh, mystery! Mm. Mystery. And this one, he'll just roll back his <laughs> shoulders. You cannot. I told you, your 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 mortal drinks cannot disturb a god. So you all will pass into unconsciousness. <laughs> okay. And you remember bits and bobs of this. I'll talk to you in the break about what happens to you. <laughs> and we're going to take a break now. Yeah? Ooh. Ooh. So I crazy. just, before I go to sleep, I just really like some chips. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I remember being this drunk, it was probably never. <laughs> I'm already asleep. <laughs> I swear. In the arms of, what was her name? Hedwig. Uh, Hedwig. 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 Hedwig.